Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Quartermaster Podcast. I want to uh, talk about something I believe, particularly since we're entering into that time of the year for vacations, something that you'll want to tune into. Ryan, we're going to talk about how to make that travel deductible. That's awesome. Yeah, it is that time of year, Don. At least it's getting close to that time here. Um, so a lot of people are going to be heading out of town um, as they get ready for that. But how do we make it deductible. Yeah, basically. yeah, yeah. So the, the the reality is it can be about as luxurious as you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can, you know, go first class if you want. You can get the, the penthouse suite. You can rent a Rolls Royce for a rental car. All these things here, there's, there's certainly some opportunity. Now, what you want to keep in mind is that there is a five-part test. So mm -hmm. the one thing I always like to tell my clients is when you travel, mm -hmm. uh, just make sure, if, particularly in the United States uh, in, in D.C., that you, uh, the majority of, the, of your trip is business related. Mm. That, that's pretty much an all or nothing when it comes to the IRS in case of an audit. So you want to make sure the majority of your time. So if, let's say, for example, you, know, you and I are, are heading out for a, a, a trip out to Vegas mm -hmm. and the conference is three days long. Mm. So the reality is we could extend it a couple extra days, go do whatever, go up to, you know, I don't know. Grand Canyon. Grand anything, Canyon, yeah, whatever. Anything, yeah, 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 something like that there. Yeah. Uh, the Hoover Dam, yeah. um, and, and make it deductible, as long as the majority of the time was business-related, yeah. which we'll dig down deeper into that, all that five-part test. So the, you know, just keep that in mind that as you do, um, that if, let's say, for example, you know, uh, here in a few weeks, uh, I have to go out to Oregon mm -hmm. for a conference, and the conference is, uh, starts on a Thursday, ends on a Sunday. So I'm going out a day extra early uh, with Joanne. Mm -hmm. My wife gets to go, uh, and she is an employee here. So uh, she gets to go out, and we spend an extra day out there, mm -hmm. and uh, just kind of see the sights and such. So. Nice. So, so let's talk about. So, what um, what type of percentages can we see with these deductions? I mean, is it twenty, thirty, forty, or yeah. how high? Good, good question. So, yeah. it really comes down to what your marginal tax brackets at. Because let's say, for example, that uh, one of the folks that are watching here are in the great state of Texas. There's no state income tax, and you're let's say in the thirty percent, or let's say twenty eight, thirty three percent marginal rate, that's really going to be your deduction. So if I go out and spend $10,000 on a trip and I'm in a 30% rate, I'm saving $3,000 in taxes. So your trip really becomes a net of $7,000. Okay. Gotcha. And there's really um, two main types of expenses, right? There's transportation expenses and there's also life expenses. Yeah. So can we kind of dive into that a little bit? What's a, what's a transportation expense? So transportation, airfare, mm -hmm. you're, if you're driving, anything like that, they'll just get you from point A to point B. Now, the life expenses, you know, that's life, meaning that we need to have a place to stay. So that's going to be your lodging. Uh, mm -hmm. So that could be Airbnb. That could be a hotel. That could be a cruise. You can mm -hmm. go on a cruise, uh, and we'll talk about how you can make sure that that is deductible. Uh, there's a lot of that going on now. And then, of course, um, your food that you eat uh, because you're going to have to eat. Uh, that's a, a life mm -hmm. uh, expense. So. Gotcha. Okay, perfect. Um, so you were talking about, you mentioned this earlier, but the real test, right? And there's five real tests yeah. that we have to look at. There's profit motive, stay overnight, apply for the only test, and then primary purpose test, and then the maintaining good records test. So let's start with the first one. So yeah. profit motive, what is that? Yeah, when you go on a trip, there's mm -hmm. got to be a profit motive. Now, it doesn't have to be that you're immediately mm -hmm. seeing that profit. Sometime in the future, you're going to see a profit. So let's use an example. So we go to a lot of conferences, a lot of professionals go to a lot of doctors and stuff. And so they're going there not necessarily to make a profit at the event, mm -hmm. but what they're going, Ryan, is to learn a new technique yep. or you know something to that degree or something to improve upon their business. Bring uh, people in, more yeah. people into their, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So that that's that profit motive. So that right mm -hmm. there meets it. Now, going back to what we were talking about earlier, let's say... Uh, you know, your dad being a chiropractor. Mm -hmm. um, so I believe uh, y'all went up to some nice place up in the mid, uh, up, the, up in the... Yeah, Wyoming. Yeah, Wyoming. Yeah, yeah. You went to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Yeah, Jackson Hole. Yeah. Jackson Hole's a pretty yeah. nice yeah. place. Yeah. Love it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So now what your dad did mm -hmm. is he went there for business purposes for yep. that conference, and he was there to learn how to grow his practice. Yes. But what he did, he had the opportunity to take his family along. Now, of course, keep in mind that unless they're employees of the business, that is not a deduction. So that's what that's going to be crucial. We'll yeah. talk about that in another session about spouse being an employee and so on and so forth. But 
the reality is, so he got to go up there, so his airfare was covered and his lodging. Well, if you're staying in the same room with him, it's guess covered. what? Yeah, it's covered. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Now his food is the only thing that's covered, you yeah. know. Uh, yep. But the nice thing is that you had the opportunity, the privilege to go, you and your brother, up there and see a beautiful place of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was able to make a large portion of that deductible. Yeah, that's awesome. So the next one's uh, staying overnight. So. Yeah. This one's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. So you pr you pretty much have to stay wherever you're going. It needs to be overnight. You need to be away from your taxable home. Correct? correct? Is yes. that yeah? So basically, you have to do that because if you don't, can you not deduct it if you don't stay overnight? Correct. Yeah, there wouldn't be. I mean, if you're not going to stay overnight, then you, mm -hmm. of course the lodging is going to be a case. Mm -hmm. Now, if you know, if, if, like for example, there's been situations in my uh, career that I've had to fly somewhere early in the morning and fly back. Yeah, my mm -hmm. airfare is going to be covered in that mm -hmm. type of situation. But the rest of my expenses, other than food, is not going to be covered. Gotcha. Okay. Now, this is an interesting one. Apply for the only test. Yeah. So explain that one to me a little <laughs> bit. So uh, this is all out for debate as to uh, the definition here. But what would a rational business person mm -hmm. travel for this? So, you know, it, it, you know, if it's... Um, going out to an event or going to see a, uh, uh, a potential client, mm -hmm. would a rational business person do that? It's not a hard test to pass yeah. unless, you know, you're irrational. Yeah, so. I was, well, I was about to say, you know, successful businesses are out of the box. So a lot of people, yeah. they might, <laughs> you could, that's, that's up for debate, that's for sure. So, um, so pur purpose test. So this is, uh, this is basically, you want to make sure that the majority of your days that you travel, this is what you were saying earlier, yeah. are for business. So if we spent a week out uh, for a conference and four of those days were for leisure, yeah. then that's the wrong thing to do. Correct. You right. have a problem there uh, defending that with the IRS. Yeah. So you and I have to go out to a conference next month in, in Anaheim mm -hmm. for a dental mm -hmm. uh, lab event. And so I do know this for a fact, even though I've not been there probably in 30 or 40 years, but there's actually a Disneyland there. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any interest in going. But mm -hmm. if you wanted to go, Ryan. <laughs> I and, might want to uh, go. Is it? <laughs> you might want to go, yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, if, if we're out there for that conference, I think it's yeah. two days. And then you said, listen, let's take an extra day. We're going to go down to Disneyland. Mm -hmm. That's all deductible. Yeah. But if it, let's flip the table. Mm -hmm. Let's say we say, listen, we want to go spend three days mm -hmm. at Disneyland and only two yeah. days at the conference. Then it's going to be very difficult to defend that. Yeah, so. absolutely. All right, and we're on our last one here. So this yeah. one uh, is maintain good records, and this is this is also pretty self-explanatory, self-correcting, I guess it would also be. <laughs> yeah. um, so you obviously have to keep good records about this. You yeah. know, it's the IRS is going to want to see, you know, the justification for these deductions and these expenses. So um, that also kind of leads us into, you know, one of the big things about maintaining those records. So what type of records do you have to keep? What type of things do you have yeah, to keep? Yeah, so, you, you, of course, any type of receipts, uh, of course, any of your meals, you want to make sure you're right on there, you know, uh, that you were, let's say, for example, we're out in Anaheim and we were at the, uh, the LMT Dental Lab Conference or whatever the case is, the purpose of being out there. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, who's present, you want to make sure that's on there. If you're at a hotel, same thing. And again, there's some great softwares out there, you know, like QuickBooks is an example. You can snap your receipt, put it in there. Uh, but making sure you keep good notes of, you know, the purpose of the uh, of the travel uh, and, of course, your airfares and things like that there, you're going to get emailed receipts. And so making sure you keep track of that, um, that's, that's a big thing. And, and the one thing is that's true about anything when it comes to business. Mm -hmm. Documentation, 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 because if you are ever audited, that's where they're going to go. And mm -hmm. if you don't have the documentation, they're going to disallow it. And now then you're going to have some taxes and yeah. some penalties and some interest too. Is so. there a uh, statute of limitations on how long you need to keep that documentation for? Seven years. Seven years. Yeah. Okay. Now, unless you're committing fraud, <laughs> it's a whole other conversation. <laughs> yep. So, Gotcha. So, so all these travel records, all these receipts, everything like that, yeah. you need to keep for at least seven And the years. nice thing about it is you can scan them um, mm -hmm. and put them up in a file. It used to be, you know, I've been doing this for 35 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, listen, we used to have filing cabinets and filing cabinets and filing cabinets to just documentation. Now, it's the nice thing is the IRS allows you to have that, um, the benefit of just having it scanned in there as long as you can pr provide it. So okay. just organize it well. Now, um, for what we've been talking about, there's a lot of domestic travel. Mm -hmm. What about international? Yeah. Does this count? Yeah, actually, this conversation came up with someone yesterday. Um, so uh, him and his wife, uh, who are the owners of the business, mm -hmm. are going to Bermuda. Uh, for a uh, for a trip, and so 
it's allowed as long as there is a business purpose. Or maybe you're going to a conference over in Italy, mm -hmm. um, you know, something like that there. That would be as long as there's a business purpose for it. Now, in the case of this doctor, um, him and his wife are going there for a conference, and they're, but they're making a little trip out of it. So that's, again, goes back to the same thing. Majority of the time has to be spent on business purposes. Now, um, I'll, I'll give you a, a, an example here in a second that we have. Uh, board meetings. So mm -hmm. this is the one thing here that uh, a lot of business owners don't realize, but you can have a board meeting. Now, your board may be just you and your wife, mm -hmm. or you, your wife, and your children. And just, again, documenting uh, that you had it, taking the minutes, mm -hmm. very, very important, what was covered, what was the conversations, how much time you spent, all of that to justify that. Now, I'm not going to say that you want to take a two-week uh, European trip uh, and try to justify that. It's going to be very difficult, to be quite frank with you. Mm -hmm. But, again, it's all about the, the key here. In this case here, we have, we have Charles Hinton III. He had a tile company here in the great state of North Carolina, C Corporation. And what he would do is he would take his board, his corporate board members, mm -hmm. as well as some of their uh, relationships, like real estate attorneys and different ones, mm -hmm. and they would go off to a very tropical place. Mm -hmm. And they'd do it in the States, and then they went down to Puerto Rico and places like that. That's a legitimate because it was for business purposes. He was having his board meetings, but he was also developing deeper relationships with these vendor relationships. So. Gotcha. So, like, uh, in his case, all his employees, his 11 or 14 employees that he had, would qualify. Oh, board members. Board yeah, members, board members yeah. yeah. Board members would qualify, but their families coming would not to this. Yeah. Correct. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. So, the, the airfare for the, uh, the professional mm -hmm. or the board member um, would be covered, but just not their spouse. Gotcha. Unless, okay. they're, unless they're a board member, too. Yeah. So. Well, that's, that's good to yeah. know. That's good to know. Um, anything else about the travel that you'd like? Yeah, so uh, the one thing, too, here is uh, cruises. So, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So we actually, in uh, one of the groups that we work with, they're looking at doing an a Alaskan cruise, go from Washington State up to Alaska and back. And so because they're going to have some continued education classes actually on the ship and have some other type of meetings, then that's going to be a qualified uh, trip that can be deductible. Um, wow. So just keep that in mind. Of course, you know, when you... Uh, rent a space on a, uh, or get a room on a ship, mm -hmm. um, you know, you're, you're going to be there anyway, yeah. so your spouse is there yeah. as well, so that's a nice little thing. Yeah, that is awesome. We need to take some cruises. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I totally agree. <laughs> Actually, it sounds like a, a great yeah. deal. Um, now, again, I want to stress to you that going to uh, some cases here that weren't so well, so I'm going to give you this one here. George Buchanan, uh, plywood manufacturer, went to the Super Bowl in New Orleans and took some of his um, business relationships with him. Uh, the problem is it doesn't pass for only tests. It wasn't for a business test. And also under the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, um, mm -hmm. they eliminated the, that little perk for uh, entertainment. Mm -hmm. So you can't do that anyway. So that one there was disallowed. Uh, there was a minister, uh, uh, Robert Blackshear, who went, took some people over to Europe uh, because there wasn't a profit motive there, mm -hmm. that one there was disallowed. And then, of course, um, this other person uh, took five separate trips. The issue was when they kept bad records, and so when the IRS did the audit, they threw them out. And so, of course, again, keep in mind, you're going to have the taxes, you're going to have penalties, and you have interest. Uh, but make sure that, and, and I'm just going through this one more time on keeping records, the amount of each separate expenditure for traveling away from home, the date of departure and return for each trip, uh, and the number of days during the trip spent on business, okay? Uh, the name of the city and town you visited, and then, of course, the business reason for the travel or the nature of the benefit you expected to gain from the travel. So those are the type of things you want to make sure that you document, uh, whether that's in a journal, uh, whether that's, you know, uh, again, on the actual receipts, but just making sure you do that. So. Yeah, awesome. And then, of course, just to kind of wrap up some of the stuff that we were just talking about, is just to make sure that you, uh, you do your five tests. Yep. Do it all. Profit motive, stay overnight. Yep. The, the only test, and yep. the, meaning the rational person. Mm -hmm. uh, and primary purpose test is, of course, uh, for business. Mm -hmm. uh, majority of the time it's for business. And then, of course, maintain good records. Gotcha. Well, that all makes sense. And, I, and like I said, you know, with it being travel season, this is something that every one of you can take advantage of if you own your own business. Yep. Just be smart about it. Make sure you're keeping good records about it. Make sure you pass this five-part test here. And if you can do that, I think you're going to be okay. Absolutely. So. You know, uh, again, make sure that if you want uh, some, some written information about this here, feel free to click below. And we, we, we have a whole uh, page on this here. 
that we'll send that out to you, white paper. And uh, again, thanks so much for joining us for another one of our great podcasts here. Make sure you tune in for our next one because we have some great and exciting information we want to share with you. Mm -hmm.